Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Chris McCallum. I am doing a maiden on a new wing. Uh, it's going to be something I haven't tried before. It is a tractor twin. Uh, it's going to be pretty similar to the uh, KFM that I built before the previous video. Just uh, that one was a single prop pusher. This one here now, we have a twin tractor. So a tractor is something that I've never played with before, but uh, as far as the wing goes, but uh, we'll uh, play with that and being a twin as well. So for this being my design, I'm kind of looking at it as I'm guessing is where the CG is going to be. Uh, this maiden flight tell uh, will tell the story, but uh, this is kind of what we're looking at. So uh, without further ado, I'll kind of give you guys an idea of what we have a, in, in here as far as a power plant goes. I do use the uh, Raystar 2212-1400s. I am using a 3S battery, 30 amp ESCs. There is a 5 amp BEC, external BEC, that's in here to handle all four of the servos. Kind of give you an explanation. I'm basically using the uh, the Elevons that we would normally use as Elevons. Uh, they are still Elevons, but I'm not putting any reflex in them. The center flaps here are just going to be for elevator. They don't move with the roll control, but they will carry the reflex. And uh, that's kind of the idea. To kind of give you an idea of how this works. So Elevons, just like Elevons, I want to pull right. There we go. I do have differential drag in here as well. So you can see how the Elevons work. And then I'm going to pull back. You can see how everything moves, right? Now I do have the uh, center flaps that are holding the reflex on a slider. So I got about, I don't know, about 15 degrees extra up and down kind of idea. So uh, we'll see how this maiden goes, but that's kind of what's going to hold that there. As far as, uh, I'm not too sure if those flaps themselves are going to hold the reflex, but we'll see. Now, let's just get to the maiden. Probably got way too much travel on this, but I do have dynamic rates. So as the uh, throttle goes up, the rates reduce. All right, I do have the timer. I do have the timer set for five minutes. Merry Christmas and wish me luck. Look at that. That right there is that 50% throttle. I haven't had to touch the reflex at all yet. Or I click the trim. <laughs> Holy crap, that's actually working. Do you have, like I said, differential drag in there? You still seem to have some adverse yaw. But it is flying. All right. Add some reflex. Yeah. Pulls it. All right. Okay, I reduced the speed a little bit. Sorry, I said that was at 50% throttle back then. This is at 50%, just under 50%. So I had to pull a little bit more reflex. I'm gonna give it more speed. Flatten out the reflex a little bit. I can make some elevator trim. It is pretty quick though. All right, let's see what she does for like rolls and loops. 
Might pick up the rate on the roll there a little bit. She's doing very well. Kind of surprising for off the cuff sort of stuff. Here's a loop. Looking pretty good. Find out for vertical. Shouldn't be a problem. No. All right, let's see what happens in the stall here. I'm gonna bring it up. I don't know if you guys can see this. It wants to drop like a rock. <laughs> The center flaps are definitely holding the reflex well. I don't need any of it in the uh, elevons themselves. Now it's going to come down to the landing. And there she is. Now I'll be surprised if I didn't bend any shafts there, but we'll see how it works out. All right, well, as far as I can tell, she survived, man. It's uh, it's looking pretty good. Survived the landing. I was gonna, uh, I was thinking about putting some landing gear on this, maybe floats, just so I could uh, take off and land off the snow. But uh, that landing there, everything seems to be straight. Almost probably don't even need it. So, other than that, it flies all right. Like I said, there is a little bit of adverse yaw, but uh, it is what it is. Thanks for showing up. Merry Christmas, and uh, like and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one. That's it for 2020. See you in 2021. Adios.